I'm headed up the ladder to work on the attic. Alright, well, I'm working on. Whoop, yikes! Working on putting in the wall on this gable. And yesterday I uh, made the, the window uh, rough in opening that we just looked out of, or that overlooks the garden. I don't have the floor in here right now, so I've got to carefully <laughs> walk on the, the just the scraps of, of lumber that I put around here. And uh, yeah, so it has proven to be extremely difficult actually to figure it out figure out the, the engineering, I guess, behind this. I didn't build this in a typical way. I never build anything in a typical way. <laughs> I, I'm a fan of over-engineering things. I am not okay with the, the basic standards behind um, building codes. I think they're just, they're just barely good enough. Um, in fact, I, I can't stand wood construction in a lot of ways because it's just, you know, houses nowadays are, are, are built to last, you know, a hundred years or so. But I I love homes and buildings that exist in the past, in the distant past, that were built to last a thousand or two thousand years. Um, think the ancient Roman buildings, the Colosseum, you know, two thousand years old. Ancient bridges that were built with cement. Um, true, the Romans did know a thing or two about cement, which um, we... In, the, in our modern society are actually just <laughs> figuring out again. Isn't that funny? But um, a lot of headway has been made in the world of concrete, which is why we've um, decided to build our house out of concrete. We want it to withstand tornadoes and, and when it's reinforced it actually can withstand earthquakes as well and a lot of other things. Having said that, I don't really want to bring concrete up to this third floor, although that is the eventual plan. But in the meantime, say for the next 10 years or so, I'm okay with having wood, but I'm going to really make it strong. First, the view from up here. Pretty amazing. Wow. You can see for 40 miles up here. Usually we don't see over this, over this little rise, especially when the corn is high. And it's amazing when the corn is cut and uh, we can suddenly see, and see such a such a distance. It's really fun. There's the barn over there. The roof of the sunroom that I'm actually going to take off and um, just put put this greenhouse plastic on it because we've we found out that uh, the sunroom is a lot more efficient and uh, you know it does a lot more for us if we just cover it in plastic to let more solar light in. And it's okay that we're losing a little bit at night because the the net gain is actually greater when we have just the plastic instead of the insulated roof. Interesting. So I have to undo all the work that I did last year. That's all right. Okay, back in here. I've actually nailed, toenailed, and actually bolted with a like a six or eight inch lag bolt. I can't remember how long it is, but plenty long enough to go at an angle and still penetrate deeply into the into the stud below there, or to the to the top plate. And so I'm going to two by six because it's a little bit heavier duty. And it's going to be a little bit more wind resistant. I didn't stand up this wall, to, you know, all in one piece, which is typical of, of framing nowadays. They'll just build a whole wall and then stand it up. Well, I built my roof first to try to keep the the snow and rain out of the house, and then just knew that I would worry about the the wall later. And in the meantime, of course, covered up with, covered it up with the plastic. So. What I did is I just bolted in um, this 2x4 here, and the same thing on the other side. Yeah, you can see it's just nailed in both places and then bolted here for extra support. And then I bolted, I 
it chisels out a little area so it's flat, has a little bit more um, surface area. And then squared and leveled it off and bolted through that. And here it is on this side as well. I have never seen <laughs> such a solid um, stud before. Anyway, so this is what I'm doing today. So essentially I'm just going along and putting these studs in there. Um, this one is not in yet. I'm going to do the same thing as I did up there, right here, and bolt it in so it's nice and firm. I mean really, really firm. Same thing down there. And cutting pieces of um, this OSB plywood stuff to cover that. Got another kind of specialized piece over here. And uh, more studs to go in there. So, all right, well, I've got a lot of work. Well, I'm gonna do that and while Laura Jean catches you up on things that are going on downstairs. All right. Kind of frustrating having to light a fire when our sunroom should be doing the job. A couple years ago we had it wrapped in plastic and it did a great job of heating our house. So now we need to get it sealed up somehow. We think we might rebuild it. That sounds overwhelming so probably not this year but at least get some of the holes patched. On sunny days we shouldn't have to light a fire so our home is still comfortable. I'm being picky. We're warm. We're good. <laughs> Are we warm? Yeah. <laughs> we had a good friend um, offering some free chairs online and she just dropped them off. Aren't these cool? These are going to be my homeschool chairs. That way we don't have to steal any uh, chairs from the... We don't have to steal chairs from the kitchen table to do our homeschool upstairs. Hi, Hi Sadie! Chair. Aren't these cute? Yeah. They just spray painted them. And then the spray paint came off because they hadn't primed it, but I think <laughs> I love it with the paint coming off. So I don't know. I might repaint them someday, but. Is it broken? Yeah. That's okay. We can still sit on them. Should we clean them off? They're a little bit dusty. Should we get some baby wipes? Good job, girls. There's Lizzie doing schoolwork in, in the sunroom because that's the warm place in the house. <laughs> so Banjo just requested that we do some fast motion footage of us putting the chairs upstairs. So here we go. Well, it looks like uh, we're gonna only be able to fit three chairs in here. Oh well, um, I thought of being able to build another desk in here, um, possibly in this little nook area. Still in the process of moving stuff out of that place. Not too long ago, this was our storage room, not a school room, from when we first moved into this house. This is where we put all of Trent's art frames and boxes and things, <laughs> so it's still halfway between storage and homeschool. So the kids have set up for homeschool and they're just waiting for me. We'll go ahead and sign off and we are so grateful for you guys watching. We hope that you come and see us again tomorrow. Bye!
great paint in there.